Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my Pharaoh Feb readathon vlog. <laughs> So the whole month of February, I'm going to be reading fantasy romance books here and there. There's also the Black Author Readathon going on. I'm going to link down below my um, vlog for that because I also vlogged the whole month of February for um, the Black Author Readathon. So Pharaoh Feb is a uh, readathon where you read fantasy romance books throughout the whole month of February, and so I'm going to be reading fantasy romances. Um, if you didn't know, I have a TBR for February where I talk about books that I want to read for both of those readathons. I'm going to link it down below. I'm not going to be talking about the books that I want to read in this video. I'm just going to be telling you about the books that I end up reading throughout the month of February that have fantasy and romance in them. <laughs> so first, I already have an update for you. This is February 6th, I believe. That's what today's date is. Um, and I already have read a book. So I ended up completing Sworn to the Shadow God by Ruby Dixon, the second book in the Aspect and Anger series. This one was so good. I'm going to give it four stars. In this series, uh, human women human women end up getting transported into this fantasy land and in this fantasy land they have different aspects of gods um so our heroine here is the god of death so kind of like hades essentially they have an ascension every uh couple hundred years where like the father the high father of these gods will cast out all of his godly children if they are not doing their jobs correctly our hero the god of death ends up getting cast into this plane and to be able to live on the plane um, and survive on the plane you need a human anchor a mortal to help you stay on this plane and so our heroine is a human and she ends up getting transported to this fantasy land and becoming the anchor for the god of death this one was really good you have to read this series in order by the way or you would have been so confused because there are things and world building aspects that are in book one that aren't really in book two so do not read this book on its own you need to read book one first um and i really recommend reading the novella first this is the novella in the series that is like one of my favorite books of all time um i like the novella even more than the main books in the series and the main books in the series are like 600 pages the audiobook in here was really great the narrator for this audiobook was pretty good i feel like uh this book series is or the last two or the main two books the first book doesn't have like a human in there at all they're both from the fantasy land the um main two books in the series that are out um they both have a human woman getting transported into this fantasy land and i believe the third book is going to be about a god being transported onto earth which is very interesting i'm very excited for that the heroines in both of like the main books in the series are very particular they're they're very like mm, i don't know how to describe it like a lot of people are gonna hate their kind of character. I, I don't really know how to describe them, but there's like a select few of people who like don't really care, I feel like, how these characters act, you know? It's not that big of a deal to me, but I know that there are people out there who really hate this character type. I don't really know how to describe it, but once you read it, you understand. I overall had a really, really fun time with this, and I really loved the character development with the God of Death in here and like how you got to see him grow and like figure out like how to show compassion for people because he didn't really know that beforehand. And so um, I really enjoyed this series and I, I love Ruby Dixon, so yeah. And then I am 65% of the way through The Undying King by Grace Draven. This one's very interesting. Our heroine in here is the daughter to this witch and our heroine has a curse to where anything she touches with her skin, like anything that touches her skin or comes contact with it, dies she's had this curse her entire life she's grown up wearing like clothes all over her body covering every single inch of her skin wearing gloves like nobody is supposed to touch her nobody but her mother knows that she exists the book starts out with her mother dying and her mother telling her follow this path to this long dead and forgotten city where there is an undying king he owes me a favor and by that favor he should help you get rid of this curse and so when her mother dies she goes on this quest to find um, this hidden land where this undying king is this king who has lived for millennia and so she goes to this land to ask him to help her with this curse and she is the first person she has ever been able to touch that she does not kill he is an undying king he can't die he's been cursed to live and so it's a romance between the two of them i'm pretty sure i'm 65 percent of the way through it's only 100 something pages but i'm really enjoying this the writing style in here i love grace jaren's writing style it's very flowery and fantasy-esque. I just love her descriptions and everything. It's really cool. I am having a hard time like getting like 
staying consistently reading it just because it's on my phone like as an ebook whenever i read an ebook in my bed i fall asleep <laughs> no matter if the book is good or not um but i am really enjoying it i don't think it'll be a five star maybe not i don't know i think at this point the highest it could be is a four because it's not really holding my attention as much as say radiance did down here but overall i'm i'm pretty much enjoying it so that is my update for this vlog so far. I'll let you know whenever I finish The Undying King. Hello, it is me later. I finished filming hours ago, but I've done a few things and then I just finished The Undying King by uh, Grace Draven. I think I'm gonna end up giving this one four stars. It was really good for how short it was. So I really liked the magical part of this book. It's very interesting. I've never really read a book like this before, but like the heroine has like death powers or the touch of death. I forget her name, but she's from like the X-Men movies. Like, kind of, it's kind of like her where like you touch somebody and they could die. Whereas our main character in this book, Imogen, if she just literally just one touch, you're dead. Whereas the girl in X-Men like, you have to just like touch you for a while for you to die. I really liked this one and like it was really interesting and everything. And you really get to see how somebody can like grow through the king because he did some pretty pretty horrible stuff um before he became the undying king. The world building was interesting. I honestly wish that there was more because I'm still a little confused. That may just be me. But I feel like the world could have been um, maybe developed a little bit more. I had a really fun time reading this. I think I'm going to go read the two um, less than 20 page novellas that were in my TV that were by Grace Draven. Just to get those out of the way. And I'm in like a Grace Draven fantasy romance mood, you know. After I wash my face, I think I'm going to go read those two books. I think one's called like The Lightning God's Wife and the other one is called A Light Within. I think those are the two itty bitty tiny novellas. I think those take place in the, in the Master of Crows series. There you go. Um, I think that those books take place in that world. So um, I'll update you later when I have read some Hello, it is February 11th and I have a reading update for you. Um, I forgot to update when I finished these two novellas, but I ended up finishing them the same night as I read The Undying King by Grace Draven. These are two novellas, a part of the Master of Crows series. Number 1.2 is The Lightning God's Wife. It's just a novella, part of the Master of Crows series. Um, I love the Master of Crows books. I ended up giving it a four stars. I really liked this little like novella um, and I thought that the story that was included in here was pretty cool. It deals with like this world's like mythology which was really cool and I honestly would have like loved this if this was like an entire book because it has nothing to do with like the characters from the first book like they pop up but the heroine from like Master of Crows she's telling the story of these gods in like a 20 page novella and I thought that was pretty cool and if like the god story was a whole entire book that would have been I think feel like beautiful like a beautiful story so I just gave that one four stars I I enjoyed it and then novella that's number 1.3 in this series is the light within by grace draven so i ended up giving this one three stars i just didn't like see a point it didn't really add anything to the series and it like just wasn't as interesting as the other novella that i read and this one deals with the couple from master of crows like it's a little novella 16 page novella about them and them going to this like festival um but I just it didn't really add anything for me you know and I just wasn't as invested as the other novella because I read the other novella first so I don't know maybe I would have thought different if I read this one first who knows overall just didn't add it to the main storyline for me so I just ended up giving it three stars so I am currently reading a book <laughs> I have started rejected by I don't remember the author's name the picture is on the screen and this is the werewolf shifter one so I don't think this is fantasy romance I mean like it kind of is I like I have a hard time distingu distinguishing uh like paranormal and like fantasy because like paranormal books have fantasy elements to it you know I don't know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in this log because I'm having a fun time so I'm 10% of the way through rejected and this is literally <laughs> reading like one of those like Wat, like shifter Wattpad like fanfic stories that I read like in middle school and high school that I was obsessed with. I know that people would probably hate this but like it's given me so much nostalgia for like reading those kinds of books. So our heroine she's in this shifter pack like everybody hates her because uh her dad challenged the alpha in this pack. They ended up killing him because of it and 
she has been hated on ever since then and gets bullied all the time and gets beaten up and gets hated on. It's about her so far like escaping the pack and she is about to go through her first ever shift. Um, when you're 22, I think on the winter solstice, you shift um, for the first time. And um, apparently when you shift for the first time, it like triggers your like mate instinct. And I'm pretty sure I know who her, like her mate is gonna be and like, it's gonna be interesting. But then in the summary, I read something about like her awakening the shadow beast. So is it a romance with her and the shadow beast? Or is it with her and this like childhood enemy of hers? I don't know, it's very like <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> in fanfic fashion i don't think this was a fan fiction i have no idea but it is on kindle unlimited and it's like reading like an old fanfic story for me and i am flying through it i read like 10 percent, like literally in less than an hour um because i was sucked in and i really want to read one more chapter before i have to go do some homework so far this is highly entertaining but who knows sometimes with fanfics well this isn't a fanfic but it gives me the same feeling sometimes with stories like these like something happens to where i'm like that's freaking dumb and then i'll hate the rest of the book if something happens i got this recommendation off tiktok so like i assume it's gonna be messy so <laughs> we will see okay so i'm here to update you it's been a very long time since i've updated you um i have quite a few updates um so i think in my last clip excuse the dog <laughs> rolling on the bed i think last time i talked to you i was raving about rejected by jamin um eve there you go, Eve. Once I hit the 50% mark, I decided to DNF it. The beginning was super fun. Again, fan fiction-esque, very cool. Really liked it. Quite um, fun and entertaining. Doesn't take itself too seriously, I think, the first part. Read like a shifter fan fiction. And then once we meet the Shadow Beast and he like takes her to his land or his place where he lives or whatever, it, it's just boring super boring nothing was happening it it was super boring i was super let down like the first chunk of this book was highly entertaining super fun and then once she met the shadow beast and he like took her it was just boring and like didn't i was just not interested anymore i already returned it on kindle limited um so if you want to check it out go ahead i'm very curious to know the ending if you have read it just tell me the ending dm me on instagram or something i'm curious for that i actually didn't go and read the end of it because I wanted to check out a different book on Kindle Limited as soon as possible so I just didn't look at the ending. Um, so yeah, if you want to check this book out, go ahead. Just not my cup of tea because it just got very boring and just like her sitting in this place and doing these monotonous things over and over and over again and the world wasn't really explained all that well and anyway, I digress. Um, so then I ended up reading and finishing A Quarter of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass. Um, I read that all in one day during the snowstorm that hit Texas. <laughs> I'll link my vlog down below if you want to check it out. I did a live reaction vlog for it and it's filled with spoilers just by the way. So I'm going to count that for my fantasy romance even though I'm not really, I didn't really vlog myself reading it in this video. I did read it during Pharaoh Feb so. And then also during that power outage time because I didn't have power for a while I decided to pick up my physical book for my TBR which was Bride of the Sea by Emma Hamm. So I haven't picked this up in um, a couple of days but what I have read so far has been very interesting. So this is a little mermaid retelling and um, so far our mermaid has rescued the hero. They're kind of like meeting for the first time, like actually conversing with one another. And so whenever I find the time to read a physical book, I definitely pick this one up. I'm very intrigued by it. I really love Emma Ham's writing style. I've read a few reviews that have me a little bit nervous because people have said that both of the characters are unlikable characters and that they didn't like that. So far I'm, I'm, I'm liking both of them. So I'm I'm kind of scared to know what the rest of the book is going to be like. I also want to show you there's this fan art in here that's really pretty that I really like. If you can see it, that's our two characters on here. Um, that's on the cover too. Uh, I find the world to be quite interesting. It's the same world as Heart of the Fae. Like this is the same other world series, but I didn't learn a lot about like merfolk. What are they called again? Marrow. Sorry, they're called Marrow. Um, and apparently the marrow men in here like aren't actually like mermen. They're like frog creatures that are disgusting and have like warts all over them. And she's like, I don't want to marry a merman. So uh, <laughs> she just wants to find somebody that will like love her. She wants like a love and her dad's making her choose this mer 
man to pick and she's like i don't want that and then she comes across our hero like drowning from a shipwreck and so she rescues him and brings him to this island where she wants to keep him and hopefully he can take her away to his land so so far it's highly entertaining i'm on chapter four which is page 82 so i will be picking this up whenever i have the time to pick up a physical read um right now i currently don't <laughs> so whenever i do find the time i will definitely read more of that because i am enjoying it so that's all for this update and um i bet i'll update you whenever i either finish this or finish or start another book hello everybody we are going to be wrapping up this reading vlog okay so i know it was very short or shorter than my normal vlogs and short for a month-long vlog but in all honesty with snowpocalypse hitting and everything like it kind of just it kind of like <laughs> decreased my mood <laughs> and I kind of just wanted to like fly through some novellas and fun reads instead of some um, world building fantasy romance if that makes sense um, but I ended up reading a bunch for this readathon here is the spread that I ended up making if you can see it um, the, this was my TBR and this is my wrap up section down here. I ended up reading four books on my TBR. I read only a little bit of one and then I DNF'd another one and then I did not get to one of them. The one I did not get to was The Ippos King by Grace Javen. I just felt like it was really long and I, again, wasn't in the mood, um, because of everything going on. It's just my mood was dampened and so, um, I just I wasn't feeling it <laughs> so I will definitely be getting into that one at a later time because I definitely want to read that one because I love that series so when it comes to books that I read I ended up reading The Undying King by Grace Draven which I gave four stars to I also ended up giving four stars to The Lightning God's Wife by Grace Draven then I gave three stars to The Light Within by Grace Draven a lot of Grace Draven in this video then I ended up reading Sworn to the Shadow God by Ruby Dixon which I ended up giving four stars to then I read a fantasy romance that was not a part of this TV BR and it wasn't really in this video all that much but I have a dedicated reading vlog for it which is A Quarter of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass. I have a whole entire reading vlog for it. I read I, I read the book when I had no power during the snowpocalypse that hit in Texas um so go check that if you want to. I gave the book five out of five stars. It's definitely my favorite read of February and then I ended up DNFing Rejected by Jamin Eve. Um this one just I don't know I think I talked about it earlier about how like I just I wasn't feeling it anymore I just got super boring and um if you have read it let me know what you thought about it. if you've read it all the way through please give me your opinion um and then I ended up reading a little bit of Bright of the Sea by Emma Hamm I don't currently have it on me it's across the room and I am tired so I'm not gonna get up <laughs> um but I ended up reading a little bit of it it is in my um March TBR if you would have watched that because I filmed that earlier today um I ended up putting that on my March TBR because I do want to finish it and I'm really enjoying that one. So uh, please let me know down below if you have read any of these books that I also read in this video or if you want me to read any more fantasy romance leave me down below some of your favorite fantasy romances and yeah thank y'all so so much for watching I will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all